Hello everyone and good uh, evening once again. Dr. Aladade here at Ask the Gynecologist and tonight, tonight is another wonderful time. Um, I'm not sure if my audio connection and my video are okay. Uh, so I'll do a quick check. So if you're free, let me know and let's start talking tonight. Once again, I want to say my name is Dr. Aladade, one of your team members here at Ask the Gynecologist. Sorry that my office here today is in a state of a mess. Uh, it's been a busy weekend for me trying to move houses so everywhere is a bit uh, clogged up with uh, books and stuff around so I'm trying to put everything together so you know anyway I'm still gonna get it into shape I want to say good evening to you all my name is Dr. Lalade at Ask the Gynecologist and thank you so much everyone for watching today and tonight I'll be talking about a special topic one thing I posted this morning about vagina and i said the vagina is like socks and people were wondering what we meant what i mean what i'm trying to say so tonight i'm going to put matters to rest i want to talk about these things clearly and uh, it's for your own uh, uh consumption it's for your own uh you know uh, benefits as well so to understand how the vagina is um before i start i want to tell you something that the atg seminar is coming up next week saturday you see june 26th if you're not yet registered sorry this week saturday i'm sorry about that if you're not yet registered for that seminar it's time for you to get registered you see during that seminar i'm going to discuss things that you must know about IVF and also how to increase the chances of getting multiple pregnancy uh, most importantly you know already that our atg IVF center is open june 1st and we already acquired a 3d 4d scan today which is ready to serve you. Also, we also acquired another incubator as well to increase our capacity over last weekend. So the ATG IVF Center is already available. Now, what you must be careful of is that, you see, uh, dollar is a currency that's always going higher than Naira. And uh, this cost of IVF is going to go up soon because medications we buy from Merck and other companies are been expensive. And therefore, so we have told my secretary today, Nikke, that she should ensure that people that are ready for IVF, people that are ready, ready for IVF, should be allowed to pay, if possible, you can pay a deposit to key your spot and to lock in the price because you don't want to be caught by storm that, oh, the price has gone up again. You see, many centers in Nigeria, they just pour stuff in people's stomach and they don't get pregnant. We are asked gynecologists and we've we proven ourselves with time over the years that we are ready to serve. So if you want to key the price and want to ensure that you get looked after properly, it's time for you to pay for your IVF. You don't have to pay the old fee. You can simply pay a deposit, if possible, half, and get registered for the, for the IVF. And we open a file for you. And whenever you're ready to complete your payment or to start, start your treatment, treatment we would get you fully paid and we'll let you know but pay call pay put a deposit down we open a file a folder for you and you can send your deposit and complete your payment if possible as soon as possible before you start treatment you can even start treatment anyway before you complete your payment but once we get to this final stage we'll let you pay the complete one my daughter is doing fine she's sleeping downstairs like i said again over the weekend i mean since last week it's been busy for us trying to move houses you can still see things are still lying on the floor i'm still trying to put things together trying to try see. so it's been busy for us but we thank god for everything and we are at the new place this is my small office here and i'm talking to talk about today about the vagina see the vagina is a wonderful thing now uh before i continue okay let me show you my board here now let's bring this board here good i'm hoping nobody enters <laughs> anyway my daughter is not yet able to walk she's still a baby so there's no hassles here now if you look at the vagina if i open up the vagina for you okay what you will see then what you will see we are talking live on instagram also live on facebook and we are recording live for facebook publication now, if you look at the vagina vagina is always like this okay okay and uh Okay, the vagina contains elastic fibers, okay, and those things we call here, we call it ruge, ruge, okay, ruge in a vagina is like when you open shaki in the market eh, and you see those things that look like carpets, 
carpet or all this shashaki material in the market. Eh? That is what the vagina actually looks like. The vagina is, I always tell people when, whenever I'm conducting their delivery that the vagina expands like the socks. But like people said today on the discussion that socks also has elastic limit. You see, them socks are sizes. Okay. Now, when I say vagina is like a socks, it's a metaphor. It's a descriptive statement. You see, socks will expand, but socks get size. Oh, eh? so so from socks will not enter some people. Okay. So, but the idea is that vagina will expand. And one thing I know is that my father, my father was a guy in two, he's passed away. He always says that there is no baby's head that cannot pass through vagina because vagina will expand because because we know that there's no baby's head that can't pass through vagina there's no penis that is too big for, for vagina yes some penis will cause pain they will cause discomfort but there's no penis as big as a baby's head so therefore any baby's head that can pass through vagina it shows that no penis is too big for vagina no matter how you think you think you're a monster man your penis is still too small because your penis cannot be bigger than a baby's head except the baby is a monster so anyway, back to my point is that the vagina is designed to expand, stretch, and to contract back after baby is born. That is the way the vagina is designed. That's why I call and I tell people. Somebody said they can't see my board. Okay, let's see if we can adjust this one. Okay, can you see the board here on Facebook? Yes, I think people can see the board well now on Facebook. So I tell people all the time that the vagina is like socks because it can expand and it can retract. Now, see, the vagina, so, the vagina surface is filled with nerve supply. That is why it is not the length of the vagina that makes a woman get pleasure during sex. It's the how big or how fat the penis is. Because the fatter the penis, the, the better it's able to stretch the, the vagina wall. And being able to stretch the vagina wall will elicit pain, pain or pleasure in the woman's brain. The funny thing is that the part of the brain that controls pain and pleasure, they are very same. Just like the part of the brain that contains you being hungry and you being satisfied, full, they are also same. That part of the brain, I think it's called the amygdala, controls everything about pain and pleasure. In fact, it is the soul of man. Okay? So, yeah. so people, people can see my board now on, on, on Facebook and you can see my board now on Instagram and we're recording as well on YouTube. So, the ability of the penis to stretch the vagina is, gives the penis that power to elicit pain or pleasure. That is why the length of the penis is not the problem. It's if the penis is too fat, that is when it causes pain or pleasure. Because the better the penis is able to distend the vagina to an extent, not overly too much, we need the balance, the better the penis is able to elicit pleasure with doing sex for the woman. And this morning as well, there was a publication on Facebook as well on our page that lubricants are very good. Now, lubricants are designed to make the penis glide, glide easily and comfortably in the vagina. The vagina is a wonderful thing. If men are patient enough to study the vagina, you understand that it's very, very easy to give your woman pleasure. That is why I tell people doing our sex classes that we did last year that try and spend time and just sit down Take five to ten minutes and just observe, or I would say observe, excuse my French, observe your wife's vagina. Just let her open it in front of you, observe. And I tell women to, to, to always do the same thing too, to learn to observe their husband's penis. Just sit down, tell him to sit down, to relax, pump, you know, pamper him, rub his thighs, he will open up, he will be relaxed, and you can study the anatomy of your husband's penis from the tip to the hair from the tip to the pubic hair and you study every pathway and every geography of the scrotum the same thing too men must sit down study the inner side of your, of your white, 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 white vagina look at everything the inside the clitoris the holes the battling gland the skin the way it stretches the way it relaxes when you're giving you know you're doing all those things you do in the bedroom and it will make it to be more comfortable to understand that the vagina is not one place that is so difficult to understand. But if you take that time, and if you're able to give your time to that wife, your wife, to study her private organs, it gives her comfort and it gives her that relaxation strength, okay, to let you do maximum pleasure for her. Maximum pleasure. Now, 
Uh, now, this talk today is not for kids, though. it's for adults. It's not for kids. So, the most important thing in the vagina that makes women enjoy pleasure is not the length of the penis, it's how big the penis is. Fat, the penis is. So, the width of the penis, not the length. But the width. So it's the width, not the length. If it's too long, it can, if it's too long, it can cause pain. That's why, that's why some women doing sex, they are always they are in pain. But if you're lucky and you're able to master ma uh, another thing is that there's no penis that can't do action. Yes, some penis are better than the others, but what you are not endowed with with nature. You can endow wit with common sense. You can. Yes, some people are not endowed with the big fat. Some people are so big that it becomes a problem for their wife. I've seen men that they are endowed with lovely big penises, but it becomes a difficult thing for their wife because it causes pain for them. So don't think if you have a big penis, it's almighty. It can be a distraction. Now, if you have a small penis, don't think yourself that it can't do anything. Oh, I'm telling you, there's what we call kekele, small tiger. Some people, their penis is small, but they can do wonders with their body. They can do wonders with oral sex. They can do wonders, you know, and they can touch the right spot. Some people, they are on the average side. Most men, 80% of men, they are average penises. Not too long, but 6 inches, average, 6 inches to 6 5 inches in size, in, in length, and about 4 to 5 centimeters in, in width. Most average penises will be like that. And with that size, they are able to give women maximum pleasure. Now, another thing you must understand is that the vagina also has different length. Some people, their vagina is very deep, okay? The vagina can take a whole banana, a whole plantain, and it's still there. Some people, some people, you have to use large speculum to see the cervix during HSG. Yes, it happened to me. I examined people last week. I can't even see the cervix. I have to be bending down, bending my head to where I can see where I'm going. So I can see where to cannulate for the HSG. Some people, some women have very long vagina. Some women, their vagina is very short. Okay, that is why so, so, people that have short vagina, if you are, the, you are the husband and you have a long penis, you have to learn my technique of going half in, half out. It will cause less pain and give maximum pleasure and also prolong erection as well and reduce the risk of premature ejaculation. That's why if you've not att attended any of my sex classes last year, go and watch my videos on Facebook and you will learn a lot. On how to improve sex life. If you're watching me on Instagram, I hope you can see my board well. Okay. Now back to my point. What, what I said at the beginning is that if you're not your sister for the for the IVF and you need IVF, okay, it's not available in ATG. In fact, we have started taking booking for July now for the June ending July batch. Go and get registered. And also, we've also had a new 3D 4D scan delivered at our IVF center in Lagos, where you can scan your baby if you're pregnant, and we can see the baby's face clearly looking at you like this, and you can see your baby's face even before baby is born. Yes, it's available now. And sooner or later, we'll be doing hysteroscopy where we can look into your womb and tell you anything wrong with you. And also, the IVF, like I said again, has got two incubators ready to serve people. Whether you're coming with your own eggs or donor eggs, we're able to take that capacity and to ensure that we provide the best service for you. To get registered now for the IBF, you don't have to pay everything. All you need to do is to pay half or 40%. Just call Nikkei and deposit. And she'll open a file for you and you can pay up your balance slowly, instrumentally until you're ready. Because the reason is that prices go up. Dollar is not stable or is it Naira is not stable. So you want to key and lock in your price. Last month it was cheaper. This month is going expensive. Next month we don't know what it's going to be because we have to import all the drugs medications we use for the HIVF. To avoid that disappointment, to avoid surprises, why don't you call tomorrow morning and key into the low price now and get it all set away. If you're not yet registered for the masterclass coming up this weekend Saturday, now is the time to get registered for the masterclass. For the IVF, I can, obviously, it comes with, if, for example, IVF now, you can go for your own eggs and your husband's own eggs and uh, sperm. That is free for what IVF. You can go for IVF where you need, your, where you need donor eggs. That one is different cost because we have to add, add the cost of donor eggs to you, okay? Some people, they'll use donor sperm. We have to add that as well. Some people, they want to freeze their egg or freeze your sperm. 
we have to add that separately. So all those things matter. So if you call the secretary tomorrow morning, she'll go through the list with you and then she can add, add things for you and give you your specific cost. Because what it costs is for somebody else that doesn't need donor egg is not your own cost. Somebody that does not need donor eggs is using their own egg, their own sperm. Their cost is lower than your own cost now. But if you need donor eggs, if you need donor sperm, or if you need both donor and don donor egg and sperm, your cost is different, man. There's no flat fee because everybody has different peculiarities. But the cost of the IVF is usually very, very similar if you're using your own egg and your husband's sperm. If you've been trying sex, having regular intercourse, and you've done that for at least one year, and you're unable to get pregnant, now is the time for you to go and get all your investigations done at the ATG laboratory. And once we've seen your results, we'll know what is the problem. Some people, they don't even know that they have very, very high FSH. If your FSH is high, and it's very, very high, okay? Somebody said they want to donate eggs. Chioma, you can call the labs, lab tomorrow morning and speak to Nikkei, and she'll put your name for the donor list. So if anybody needs donor egg, you'll be the first person we'll call, okay? My our team members and moderators, please can you help us put the number of the lab on the screen? People are asking for the number of the laboratory. Can you please help me put the number of the laboratory on the screen as well? As people can save it and call it tomorrow morning. So uh, as I was saying, um so IDF, there's no one fee, everybody is one fee. No, people have different problems. Some people they want to freeze eggs. Some people they want to do family balancing. They want us to choose a particular, 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 particular thing, and they will have to do some extra tests for them. Some people even want genetic tests where they want to screen for a particular disease so that they don't their child will not get a particular disease. So such things to carry extra cost. But Nika will go through the cost with you tomorrow morning. And if you want to register as a donor of eggs. Cornica as well. We are, we are going to open a donor. We've already opened a donor register and you can register to be a donor. So once we have people needing donor, you'll be among the first people who will call to come and donate the eggs for people secretly. Okay. The masterclass this June is a super masterclass on IVF multiple pregnancy. What happens is that if you attend the masterclass, I'll be giving people some secret gifts that you benefit from. So if you don't register for the masterclass yet, it is the time for you to get registered for that masterclass so that you can benefit from some special discount and gifts that I'll be sharing during the masterclass this Saturday. So get ready, okay? I have to go now because uh, um, I have another appointment. People are already calling me now. So I'll see you again tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, evening, sorry. And we'll talk about more things and more important things, okay? Thank you once more. Thank you so much for your patience. It's been a busy week for me trying to move homes and uh, I'm trying to move out. And, uh, you know, it's, it's you no, know, we are grateful to God. Thank you, guys. I hope to see you soon. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful rest of your week, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.